Hey guys, and welcome back to a new episode of Slide 2 Band of Thieves. In the last, in the last episode, we, stored, we destroyed all the blimps, engines, and stuff like that, and everything. And this episode is the final episode of Slide 2. The final, I can't believe we're here once again for the third time completing Slide 2 on the channel. It's really been amazing, like. Man, I know, I know, I know. Like the last episode was a long episode, but like, man, this episode is obviously gonna be quite a bit shorter. The episode, I mean, we only got two missions left. We got one mission to be like really quickly, and then we got the final mission, final mission, and everything, which is also not that long, but definitely just no more, kind of more of an operation like thing than everything. But actually, let's start getting into it. I think it's the first one's called Mega Jump. Mega jump job and stuff. I love I love this mission though, but let's actually take this guard out first before we start the job. But man, I can't believe we actually starting it. Man, it's so I'm so excited. It's the final episode. Before slide three. We need to send Carmelita a radio pulse so she can home in on the blip. To do that, I'll need you to get on top of four very tall towers. They are too big to climb and too tall to jump up normally. What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll perform a huge <laughs> jump. So be careful. All right. Sounds like fun. God, I love this mission so much. Look how we can high jump high so much high. It's pretty great. Watch this. Boom. I wish we have it in the... Whoa. I didn't mean to do that. Can we just... I'm trying to get up. There you go. I'm trying to get up here. Uh, basically, we had to go the four different routes over there. You can see right there. I mean, this could be a thumbnail, but I'm just not going to because it's the final episode. Uh, I'm going to probably just do a normal cinematic. Uh, this is definitely what we needed to get all the clues. <laughs> it would be easy to get all the clues, definitely, in the last episode. but Not in the last episode, but like, I guess the two episodes before then. I get, Not two episodes before then, but that. Whatever, just, you know, it would have been easier to get the clues, but we can just do this. Look at that fan! Oh, gee! Oh, jeez. Oh, boy, I fell. <laughs> good thing we have a health bar. That's the thing, is good thing we have a health bar. But, man! Man, we're about to start Slide 3 on the channel soon. And this, I think this is also the first time we're doing all three games back-to-back, -to -back too, so... Because I did the first and the first two when I re during the very, very big... When I very first started the channel and everything, but, uh... But, yeah, it's just... Man, it's weird doing. It's it's all pretty awesome doing all three thigh games, especially you know having you know upload almost constantly like weekly. I mean, I know it wasn't consi consistent consistent all the time, but you know I was pretty consistent though for this uh for the past like m since like November basically I've been consistent, <laughs> so it's pretty great. Is the second one? I can't believe we only got two. Le See, look how great this mission is. Those two over there, yeah. Those, yep. Those two right there. Yeah, this one by the, by this, it's by that other blimp, mini blimp over there. Basically, we can just pick a light. I just love this mission so much. Boom, boom, we flying. <laughs> this is really nice with the paraglider though. But yeah, but yeah. Also, I think also I'm planning on starting another game with Jack Slide Three. I'm like, unlike I did with Slide Two, because uh, Slide Two is a longer game than Slide One and Three, so. Too fair, I didn't, too fair, I guess I, guess I did Sonic Generation with Slide 1, but it's not going to be Sonic, of course. It's going to be a different game. Uh, I'll, I think it's probably going to be, I know it's going to be Jack. I'm not sure. I think, I think I'm going to even do Jack and Daxter to progress the Legacy, too, as well. Again. Uh, oh, I can just figure out here. That's pretty great. And then do this. We're going to the mission. Nice. You know, you know, you know, be, you know what, you know what we could do before we missions where, where's the mission at? Where a clock, Comrade's, the last mission is called Comrade Gunner. So the staff house is kind of in the way. You know, you know what we could do? Like, we definitely can pick, we can definitely pickpocket guards while we're here. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Whoa! Did you see that with, uh, with, uh, we just, I love how Cloud would just swing wide under up when I fell there. But definitely, obviously, on pickpocket, you know, you definitely got to pickpocket in the last episode. I mean, we don't need it. 
But you know, it's it's also fun pickpocketing kids just on the way and stuff too. Oh yeah, we don't have the ah fuck, we don't have the jump thing yet. We, wait, do we? We wait. No, we don't. But we can turn invisible though. That's pretty sweet. We can turn invisible. <laughs> get another guard. We're getting another gold white hair. I mean, we don't really need to get all the. We can have all the thief net stuff, but you know, this we can just turn invisible. <laughs> Go look at it. It's like Sid. I know it's shrinking, but look, we turn invisible. Be the missions over there. I love how it just actually starts way over here. But let's actually start the final mission now, man. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna do. I uh, think the Book of Legacy with with Slide Three, by the way. So that's what I'm thinking on doing. I know we did it twice on my channel, but I mean, I just slide one and two twice on my channel already. <laughs> Flirty chit chat. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the clockwork boss. But this is clock law, actually not clockwork. But basically, it's definitely harder. Definitely harder than oh jeez, definitely harder than a uh, clockwork, of course. But uh, man, I love it. I might, I might not, I might not be ready for for clockwork, for clock law. But you know, let's see, let's see. I'd be awesome if we can do it first try. I doubt we can be clock law first try. Uh, I know clock law usually is pretty hard boss fight <laughs> compared to clockwork so basically I'm basically it's also a gun mission it's weird how both slide one and slide two both have like basically a gun mission of being clockwork well in this case clock law but yeah basically we're basically fighting clockwork in the sky first game was first game was a volcano this game is a uh, basically in on a blimp in the sky like I said it was sky high <laughs> I guess it's in last episode Oh boy! You don't. You, oh yeah! You definitely have to make sure you hit hit him because if it does the if if she does the wet uh the wet um thing on you like you know it's not good. Oh, we doing good. We haven't got hit yet. That's pretty great. I know it does get harder though. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Like say like there. Oh you don't want you don't. Want. Oh boy! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! There you go. <laughs> oh, doing that on us, huh? Come on. Yes! Basically, you have to shoot the wings, too. Okay, imagine if I do this while I get hit. Oh, well, we got hit once. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. We already, we, already, we already got half of her done. Damn, that's pretty sweet. Imagine if we did this on the first try. Oh, that, that didn't work. Ooh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah, <laughs> nice. Just trying to shoot her though. Oh boy. Yeah, she shoots us the electric thing at us. Man, look, this is actually kind of hard mission, actually. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There you go. God, this this actually is kind of tricky though. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see if can get. Come on. Yes. Yes! Just keep on shooting though. Just keep on shooting her. Oh boy, got that one. Got that one! Got that one! Yes! God, this is actually kind of hard. This, this is actually kind of a little tricky. Yes, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Doing a little bit! Doing a little Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, we failed! We failed! We got a good chunk. We got a good chunk. Man, this boss, this boss can be pretty tricky a lot. No, uh, look. Hopefully, we have to start all over, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, that's the thing about this boss fight. This boss fight can be pretty tricky a lot. Is there, I don't, like, you do have to be really careful, though. I'm going to try to do my best. Let's see if we can do it a second try. Uh, I don't remember how quick I did it in my original, in my original last two, last two Let's Plays and stuff, so... This can be a little. This might. This might take a little while, but you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. It might just make the episode long longer. I mean, also I can cut out if it takes too long. Um, but yeah, God, Claw, Claw is really. Uh, Claw Claw is definitely a lot harder a boss fight than uh, Plot Work by quite a bit. Oh, almost, almost got hit there. Definitely try to hit her uh, as 
I, I try to clear as much as I can while I do it because like you know if I mean I know the thing can get close to us but like you know you know there's also that oh boy and there's also this yeah I had to watch you definitely had to watch out for the little uh oh, I'm getting real close to the middle bear now great oh we did get hit already once so you know oh boy Yeah! Oh boy, don't you do a cop don't you do a cop Thank you! <laughs> Definitely hit it, make sure you hit it in the white space too, so you know. Come on, clock work! Clock You can do it! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We just have to be really careful here. Oh boy! Oh, oh! <laughs> that that might have been that might have been uh. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is gonna be pretty good. Oh boy! I think we're gonna get close though. We're gonna get close. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh! 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 That's my my that that did it. What? We did it! We did it! Okay. Okay, I guess we did get pretty close the first time. I th I guess I thought Why? something else. We've got a serious problem here. Clockla's looking mighty upset, and I think she's going to take it out on us. Oh no! We had to hurry! I guess second try is not bad. I guess I thought we had to get the health all the way down before this part happens. It has been a while since I played Slide 2. <laughs> I mean, I don't think last time I played Slide 2. Guys, hold on. The last time I actually beat in Slide 2, I don't. It's been a few years since I beat in Slide 2, so you know. So yeah, I just didn't quite remember how did he. That one hit, one KO hit right there. Dang. At least, at least you don't have to start the whole Slide 2, whole Slide 2 mission over. Can you imagine if we died hit that right there and we had to shoot, shoot Clockwork again? <laughs> that would suck. But next we got. Uh, Jeez. Yeah, we know, Murray. We know, Murray. We know that he got captured. But basically, now we just paraglide to to Clocklaw, way over there. We had jumped out. But I can't believe we actually didn't even her the second try. Not bad. Or the first section, at least. Uh, I mean, it's not that hard of a boss fight. I mean, you can saw that we got pretty close to him the first time. It just can be. I mean, I just know when I was younger, it was pretty tricky and all that. It did seem a little harder than I thought I remembered, but I mean, I remember it wasn't that easy of a, easy of a boss fight. But I mean, I also don't remember it being like the hardest either. <laughs> so, but I know that when I was younger, it was a lot harder. Jesus, oh boy, it's hard to. Yeah, this kind of it looks like it's kind of tricky to paraglide, like because like stuff is moving and all that. Uh, but maybe we just had to we just had to paraglide all the way to her. Looks like we're gonna make it though. Nice. But you're still the low down backstabbing coward we beaten time and time again. This won't be any different. Yeah, I can't believe this is going up next week, too. Oh, I'd watch out for. Yeah, I can see the health bars were just. Imagine if we had to like get it all the way up. Oh well, what, what's she doing? What's she doing? Oh, we had to do white hair. <laughs> Smack her white hair. Oh, watch, watch, don't want her to do the thing. Yeah, I'm trying to you know have her do the little electric thing, not on us. Oh. It's, it's pretty easy though. This is the easy part. This is the easy part. What you doing? Had to go back. Well, why is it? Why is it jumping really high like that? Oh, maybe not. What? What? There you go. Come on, there. Come on, smack her, smack her, smack her, smack her, smack her. Come on, there you go. And now this part's sad coming up. Tick tock. 
on the clock. We did it. It's an emotional moment. Die, Zex, die! I hate the smash. Watch out. That thing's still kicking. It is. Akla mentioned something about a hate chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. I'll pry open that beak so that Bentley can go to town with his bombs. Let's bomb it. Oh yeah, on the merry, merry, yeah. No less up in Clockwood's mouth, basically. What? Oh, I don't know why it's not working. There you go. I was like, I don't know. I was waiting for a minute. Looks, Dila looks different a lot. Can we show her up <laughs> with this? No, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> Bird dentist. All right, unlucky bandit. We got, another, we got a third trophy here, or oh, we just got two. Okay, we might just got two. But watch out, can we also get we also can get hurt by it. Oh yeah. Oh, this part's sad right here. I don't want to go in! I don't want to go in! I can see what this happened! Eh, yeah, fine. Anyway, I had to, we had to play side three. The hate ship. Let's get out of here! She's about to explode! Ooh. My glasses! Poor Bentley. I'll save you! Oh, man. This, yeah, this part's actually kind of sad. Sad ending too. I think about it. I can't walk. I mean, he's still alive, of course. Of course, he didn't, he didn't die. He's still alive. He just he kind of broke his legs, but he can't walk anymore. <laughs> I mean, it makes an interesting thing in SI3 when he has in a wheelchair. And there we were, at the end of the road. The claw gang had been defeated, and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps. Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on Clockla. So she took it out on what was close at hand. The hate chip. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So, I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything. Books, music, art. It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours, 
a fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! I'll be seeing you soon, Green Tail. Ah, this is such a good game. Man, but yeah, the, that ending was pretty great with, with Comius. I mean, Sly Cooper is always a great series. Like, it, especially the first three games. I, I know there's people that don't like the fourth game that much, but I mean, I, I still love it. Like, it's not as good as the first three, but... I mean, it's, it's like Halo 5, where like, Halo 5 is not as good as the... Pre actually, it's probably more like... Actually, Halo, Sly 4 is more like Halo 4, where it's like... It's not as good, but it's still pretty good. Kevin Miller as Sly. Matt Olson as Bitley. Chris Murray as. Or oh, Murphy as Murray. <laughs> it's awesome. Lots of people have cool how they did that. The names and stuff. Alicia Glidewell as Comleda and Mila. Interesting. Oh, yeah, they have their whereabouts. Yeah, whereabouts still unknown. I love how they have this in this game. Where what happened to all the different characters and all that. <laughs> Dimitri went on to work as a dance instructor on a cruise ship. I mean, of course he would. I mean, it kind of makes sense when you think about it, especially with Slide 3. Where John now owns a series of rug outlets across North America. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what? <laughs> Alright. The contestant went on to become the most successful real estate broker in the Great Milwaukee area. <laughs> <laughs> what? John Bisson went on a work for the EPA. I <laughs> ended up posing yet again on a West Commission saving baby penguins. <laughs> yeah, you have stuff like that. It's pretty great. It just happened to all the different villains is, or characters, and it's just great. I Maybe mean, have that as a funny moment, a part four or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I Maybe mean, that as a story where it just shows all the different villains of what have happened to them. Uh. Okay, that's- oh god. <laughs> the point where it actually tells you you've seen everything. You won. Go outside. <laughs> no, I won't go outside. Cause it's dark time. And it's like, 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> so no. I mean, I am an adult, but still no. <laughs> because you know what I'm gonna do next is play Sly 3. 100% baby! I know there's actually bonus content by pressing certain buttons they can do. With certain, like, bonus content. By certain, certain gate codes like that. Like that. But, I'm not gonna do that. Like, I mean, like, so I just did what I did. It's not really part, it doesn't really do it, add anything to the game or anything. But you know what that means? You know what that means? Do we actually start up Slide 3 from here? Um, let's see, let's just, all these are all my games I have. That I just have on the system. Slide 3 on Among Thieves, let's do it. Yeah, this, like, I can't, I can't believe, whoa, no signal! I was like say no signal, that's bull crap. <laughs> yeah, just take a minute to load. Yeah, it's crap that says no no signal. It just I guess it just says that when it switches games. Warning. Warning thing, man, but yeah. Sensario Games Inc. Yeah, I never done this before, I actually just made made these switch to different games. Because technically it's part of the collection. 2005 and 2011. Because I guess 2011 is when this collection came out. Man, this collection, HD collection, is 10 years old. That's crazy. Yeah, this, the collection is 10 years old. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, it's weird because I didn't, also I didn't get this until years later though. Well, I did, I bought the digital version of, of the collection or that actually came with three different downloads, I think. But, you know, Kane's Island, the South Pacific, 1.15 a.m. Man, slide, slide 2 was great. Like, I've never done this before where I just switched mid-game to, uh, to the next game. I mean, I'm not gonna- I'm gonna end this, the recording after I get to it, but, uh, you know, I've never done this before, so... It's always interesting. I wonder if I keep the thing a little longer, too. It'll be a little longer. Look at those guards, though. <laughs> 
uh, Doctor's M Fortress, basically. But yep, we're definitely learning about Doctor M, Sly Cooper the Thief. But we learn about Doctor Doctor in the next episode, basically, and who he is, just like that. Man, Sly Three is also a great game, but you know, it's not as good as Sly Two, but you know, it's still great. Like first three, like I said, phenomenal, great games. I wish there's a Sly Five. I doubt Sly Five is gonna happen. I know it won't ever be good as the first three games. Whoever, if it's end up being Sucker Punch or Sunsaru game, actually I don't think Sunsaru games can because they got bought out by some other company. But man, I hope we get a Sly Five someday. But that, but anyway, I'm gonna end this episode off here because the next episode we start Sly Three on Among Thieves. Yeah, that's right, Sly Three on Among Thieves. So we we'll see you guys in the next episode. Green Code is gaming out. Bye bye.